Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you folks how I bake. No, we're not baking no brownies and no cookies. Today we're baking some cake. Not edible cake, but face cake. Today I'm going to be sharing with you folks how I bake my foundation. Baking just basically means that you're going to add on setting powder, really heavy setting powder, um, after. And I know people who have drier skin are kind of afraid to bake because it's just going to dry out their skin even more. Just remember to really moisturize your skin before you put on your foundation and also use primers that are moisturizing. That way you have a lot of moisture underneath and then even after, make sure you apply like a setting spray of some sort just to put moisture back into your skin. And I know it's going to feel very drying at first, but don't worry, like eventually once your oils start not seeping through, but once your face starts settling, you know, your face will feel normal again. So. I definitely would not bake on a daily basis. We kind of do bake on a daily basis, but more on a smaller level. When you set your foundation with powders, it's kind of like baking, but you don't, I guess you leave it on forever. But um, a setting powder just really sinks into your skin, into your foundation, and just really makes it look flawless. Like, I don't know if my foundation looks different, than normal if it looks more flawless than normal or whatnot but I don't like I said I don't bake on a daily basis I only bake if I know I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures if I have to go somewhere that I'm going to be seeing a lot of people if I plan to film well, I don't always bake actually when I film but sometimes when I film I will bake but it's not something you want to do on a daily basis now if you want to by all means go ahead more power to you and I love me a good cake face so if you want to do it on a daily basis, that's totally fine and you definitely could. Ain't nobody stopping you. Definitely not me because I say the heavier makeup, the cuter the look. Um, yeah, and this look really isn't for everyone. Some people are going to say this is too much makeup, but there is never too much makeup. Best believe. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see how I bake my face, then keep watching this video. I'm hoping to do this as like a talk through. Ooh. I'm hoping to do this as a talk through video, but it's so hot that I do not know how long I'm gonna last with all the on. And I hate when I watch videos and you can hear people spat in the background. So that's why I turned off my fan. But I honestly don't know how long I'm gonna last. Whew. Anyway, so before you bake, yes, I'm baking in heat, honey. Before you bake, um, just prime your skin as usual. I just use my lotion, my Neutrogena Rapid Clear Active Defense Face Lotion. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face using the Makeup Forever, step one. This is the color correcting one. And if I could apply this like where I get red, it kind of just help neutral that out, neutralize that out. And after that, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever step one skin equalizer in the smoothing primer. I like this way better than the what is it called? The mesh box for minimizing. I feel like this just makes your skin look so much more flawless. Yeah, so then you just gonna prime your face. I'm using quite a bit of primer and every time I bake, I like to use primer on my whole face. On a daily basis, I usually won't prime my whole face. I just will prime like my T-zone where I need help like with my oils. You bake, you want to make sure your full face is primed, and let's move on to foundation. I'm just gonna put a light coat on my face. I like to use this as kind of like um, a base or a tinted moisturizer, just because it has acne clearing treatment in it. So I just like to put this like almost as like a barrier between my foundation and my skin. So if there's something going into my pores, at least it's like helping my my skin, right? I don't know, it's probably all in my head, but... Then I'm gonna be taking one of the face brushes that I got from Amazon. I know I said I didn't like it, but... For like a thin layer of foundation, like I don't mind it. If it picks up product, which is why I didn't like it, because it... I felt like it picked up too much on my product, and it wasn't like pushing it into the skin. But for a thin layer, I really don't mind it. It's okay. It does the job. Yeah. 
So on top of this foundation, I'm going to be using the YSL. Still cannot pronounce the name. Um, Candy Johnson actually said it in her video and I was like trying to repeat it after her so I could remember it. So anytime I use it, I can mention this foundation. But I forget how to say it already, but it's a really good foundation. I'm going to try. I'm probably going to butcher it again, but I'll try. Le Tint Touche Eclat. I don't know, but yeah, so I'm going to go in with this foundation next to kind of give me a fuller coverage. And a lot of people are going to be like, this is too much makeup, but that's okay because it's just like how I like it. You don't have to wear this much layers. You can just do one layer of foundation and move on to the next part. But for people who like that cake, 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 keep watching this part. Okay, so before you start baking, which is basically putting your setting powder all over your face, like a really heavy layer, you want to make sure you apply all your cream and liquid products first. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and kind of do a little cream contouring before we start baking. Because we are going for a fuller coverage cakey or look, I'm going to go with a really, really intense white highlight. I'm first going to be taking the shade Porcelain, which y'all are probably like freaking out, like, you want to apply that to your face? Yes, I am. And then we're going to take an LA Girl Pro Concealer in a darker shade. This is Toast to contour thine face. For today's baking, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. Um, there's a bunch of different setting powders that you can use. If you're balling on a budget, the ELF one is really good. I think that one's like $6 or something. But um, just find a setting powder that works for you, whatever's your favorite. This one's really good. I've been using this for a while. I'm going to be using it on an ELF complexion brush. brush. <laughs> so, um... You're just going to take a bunch on top of the brush and just pack it onto your face.
Another really good um, powder to bake with would be the Ben Nye. Um, they have a translucent one. I think it's like white. That one's really good as well. So there's a bunch of different options that you can choose from or whatever you have too you can use to bake. So you're just going to apply a really heavy layer of it on top of your skin and then just let that sit for 10, 5 to 10 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the better it's going to bake. And then yeah, you're just going to blend everything in. So I'll see you back in 10 minutes. I think the lights really washed out how much powder I have on my face. So I thought I'd go to the bathroom and just kind of show you. A lot of it has set into my skin and my foundation already. So that's why there's only a little bit left. But this is basically how you want it to look like a very thick and heavy layer. Okay, and then after about five to, five to ten minutes, you can go ahead and just brush it off so just say using the same brush that i was using earlier just no excess product just go ahead and brush everything into your skin and brush it off How you bake your face you can go ahead and finish up your face with the rest of your products like usual you know you can powder contour you can do your eyes you can do your eyebrows you can do your lips you can just do your pro normal products like usual but that's pretty much what baking is to me and that's pretty much how I bake um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and I'll be back and voila the masterpiece is done. I just really like the effect that baking gives. It gives you that flawless skin look. I love it. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope I taught you a thing or two. Click subscribe, leave a comment for what other videos you want to see. And until next time, bye.